is seemingly deemed an act of terror by the people that the terror... They're these Weasley words. They're not Weasley, of course. The only one that's a weasel is you, you flipping coward. You're a little weasel. If I was in Gaza, if I was in an open air prison, if my family had been annihilated by bombs from mm. the sky, mm. if everybody I knew had suffered the loss of a loved one, if I had no chance of any kind of freedom or democracy or standard of life, would I believe it was an act of terror or would I believe it's an act of resistance against oppression? A question to all the bastard scums, far right pro Zionist Piers Morgan, you flipping scum dirtbags. A question to you all. <laughs> Imagine living for decades under an open air prison where everything you do is controlled from what you eat to what you drink. Brothers and sisters, please donate as we have come together one Ummah to get the necessary aid needed to Palestine and Gaza. Keep them in your du'as. But specifically, brothers and sisters, give from what you love. Inshallah, and love for your brothers and sisters what you love for yourself. Donate now, inshallah, whatever you can and allow us to reach that aid with one Ummah to our brothers and sisters in Palestine. One day, Palestine will be free. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Piers Morgan interviewed Andrew Tate. Well, it seemed more like Andrew Tate invited and interviewed Piers Morgan because he got absolutely annihilated. He got absolutely destroyed, humiliated intellectually. And subhanAllah, it showed that he's a double standard, hypocritical, vile individual who you are, Piers Morgan. That's what you are. You are a double standard hypocrite because your boss at the top telling you what to say because you will lose your damn job and your damn lifestyle. Let's watch for ourselves. I want to turn to the war between Israel and Hamas in, in Gaza. What is your view of this war? I think when you call it a war, you're doing a disservice to the people who are having their limbs blown off by some of the most advanced technical weaponry on the planet. It is a genocide and it is disgusting. And it doesn't matter which side of the political spectrum you fall on. When you observe a genocide in front of your very eyes, you should be disgusted. Which side is waging genocide? Which side is waging genocide? Can you imagine the audacity? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's carry on, inshallah. The Israelis are genociding the Palestinians, and you know it as well as everybody else I don't else know does. that. Well, then it seems like your bosses are not allowing you to know it. What perhaps. do you think of, of what Hamas did on October the 7th? Why are you starting the story in the middle? I Pierce? didn't. I just asked you about the wider war. I'm now asking I can't you specifically about Hamas. I cannot professionally answer that question without talking about the context that led up to October 7th. Well, nothing, to my mind, justifies what happened on October the 7th. Nothing justifies what happened before October the 7th, Pierce. Mm. This exact point. Let's hold in there for a second. So he is just, the only focus that he has is October the 7th. We have made it very clear, our position, all of us, as Muslims, anybody that kills innocent people for that matter, I don't care if it's Israel, I don't care if it's America, I don't care if it's UK, I don't care if it's ISIS, I don't care if it's Al-Qaeda, I don't care if it's Hamas, I don't care if it's Namas, I don't care if it's whatever you want to call it. We condemn that in our religion. We are, we are consistent with our morality, not like these individuals, because they dehumanize the Palestinians. The argument is the following. If Piers Morgan is claiming that what well, October the 7th is the highlight of the issue and what they did was terrible, etc., and the logic is what is because of them going and doing that. Piers Morgan is belittling what Israel is doing to the Palestinians because of what Hamas done on 7th October. If using this logic, then that means that anyone, somebody can come and say, well, hold on a second, then what Hamas is doing in Israel is justifiable because of what Israel has been doing for the past 75 years, stealing the land, kicking them out of their houses, killing so many people, arresting so many in the West Bank where Hamas is not even there, persecuting them, massacring them, committing a genocide in Palestine. So they can use the same argument. They can come and say, well, because Israel did that, therefore we're doing this, uh, we're going to do that. Would Piers Morgan, would you ever see Piers Morgan just, I mean, justifying that? No, it doesn't work both ways. It's only if the ones that are being killed are Palestinians and Arabs and non-civilized individuals from the West, then it is a uh, justifiable. If it is them, then it's not a problem at all. What utter hypocrisy. Of a 15 year old girl with no legs begging to die. Yeah. She was begging to die saying, I have no future because my parents are gone or my legs are gone. It's I horrific. have no future. No, but you say that, right? You talk about numbers and statistics and you say a few people got caught. You don't think of Gazans and you don't think of as Muslims and Palestinians as individual people. Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. Because oh, if you I did, do. If you oh, did, I do. If you did, you oh, no, would be happy. Don't, with what's don't you dare here. say that about me. Well, okay, but don't. No, no. Don't you dare ever question Andrew Tate for saying the facts that he said. You don't give a bloody damn. When was the last time you condemned Israel as a terrorist state? When's the last time you condemned Israel, the IDF, as a terrorist, uh, uh, terrorist uh, uh, soldiers? Never. You coward. Don't you dare question Andrew Tate. You fool. You coward. You're a pussillanimous weasel who cares about the only thing, which is what? The Caucasian, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, individuals that's the only people that you care about and he showed that utter hypocrisy and you got triggered 
But in terms of what Hamas did on October the 7th, do you accept that was an act of terrorism? It's an interesting question because... Once it's not again, really. It is. No, it's a very it straightforward question. Because you're the person who would have called Nelson Mandela a terrorist while he was still in jail. And that is fact. If he was living at that time in South Africa, he would have called Nelson, Nelson Mandela a terrorist. But now the Western world, the white man, you know, the white man's burden who's come to save us, us, you know, uh, primitive, you know, uh, cavemen, you know, they decide who's a terrorist. They decide who's a freedom fighter. The Mujahideen in, in, in Afghanistan, when America used to fund, the CIA used to fund Bin Laden and Al-Qaeda to fight off the Russians, they were Mujahideen freedom fighters. Whoa. But afterwards, they become what? Terrorists. One person's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter. I wouldn't for me to answer that. the question, yes, you would have. For, the, for me to answer the question, I have to be very professional, Pierce. For me to sit on the outside in Romania with no personal involvement in Israel Palestine, it's easy for me to say, yes, it was an act of terror. However, if I was in Gaza, if I was in an open air prison, if my family had been annihilated by bombs from mm. the sky, mm. if everybody I knew had suffered the loss of a loved one, if I had no chance of any kind of freedom or democracy or standard of life, would I believe it was an act of terror or would I believe it's an act of resistance against oppression? You have to be very careful how you answer these so questions. A question to all the bastard scums, far-right pro-Zionist Piers Morgan, you flipping scum dirtbags. A question to you all. If you was treated the way the Palestinians were treated, a simple question, your family was massacred, you were being persecuted, everything is controlled from the water to the electricity to anything that is coming in and out. Your land has been stolen, you've been put in a specific corner like an island and you've been bombed continuously. You son of a... I would love to say that word. That's what you guys are. You are a son of a... Finish the sentence, inshallah. You scums. What would you do? You guys, the whole world will come together against this. Against it. Yes? They would come together and they would be like, you know what? This is injustice. You are not even accepting the injustice that's been done. You guys, it's Israel who has made Hamas. They're the ones who actually made their political party Hamas. Not only that, they are indirectly recruiting for Hamas. How? In, 2000 and, in 2010, a Pakistani-born US citizen, Faisal Shahzad, arrested for attempting to do a terrorist attack in Times Square. His attempt was to carry out a car bomb, and had it gone off, it could have killed hundreds of innocent people. During his trial, Shahzad was asked why he wanted to kill innocent civilian children. Shahzad responded, and by the way, what he did was a crime against Islam and its terrorism. He said the following, Well, the drones hit... Well, the drones that hit in Afghanistan and Iraq, they don't see children. They don't see anybody. They kill women, children, everybody. They're killing all Muslims. Shahzad added, I am part of the answer to the US terrorizing the Muslim nations and I'm avenging the attack because the Americans only care about their people. You guys are committing and recruiting for Hamas by blowing, by sending these bombs that are massacring and committing a genocide. You are helping the cause of Hamas by carrying on this vicious attack on the Palestinians. So my point is that you and Hamas to go, then return the lands back to them that you've stolen and let the Jews, the Christians and the Muslims and everyone live in peace like they did before. You are stealing land. If Israel came to Florida and took Florida, they'll be up in arms. They'll be up in arms. And not only that, top US generals have appointed, top, top US generals have pointed out that drone strikes makes the US less, less safe than, uh, less, less safe rather than safer. Former head of Joint Specialist Operations Commander Stanley McChrystal has also pointed out that careless use of drone, drone strikes could result in a suicide bomb in Central Park. A report carried out in 2014 by General John Abazaid reported that civilian casualties from drone strikes can affect whole communities and become a potent recruiting tool for terrorist organizations. So the point is what, and the list can goes on. General Michael Flynn stated to Mehdi Hassan in 2015, when you drop a bomb from a drone, you are investing. You are going to cause more damage than good. Why? Because these individuals would come and use this opportunity. Former CIA counterterrorism chief Robert Grenner has admitted that drone strikes create more enemies than they are removing them from the battlefield. So let's carry on. Is seemingly deemed an act of terror by the people that the terror- Don't use weaselly words. They're not weaselly, of course. The only one that's a weasel is you, you flipping coward. You are a little weasel. You are a weasel. He is making damn good points and you are a flipping weasel that cannot even condemn Israel for the atrocities that it's doing and you are justifying it, you coward, scum. The blood of the Palestinian children and kids are on your hands. The Israelis think they're a terror group and of course some, of course, the Palestinians Actually, think they're freedom fighters. Most it's of stupid the, that you're asking the question. Most of the civilized clear. world thinks they're a terror group. You committed that to terrorism. It's not difficult. Look, he goes, most of the civilized world, 
Well, let's look at this chart. Let's look at this here, brothers and sisters, yeah? Nearly, if you look at that measure, that looks like 70% or 65% of the population of the earth do not deem Hamas as a terrorist organization. So he is either has two options, Piers Morgan. Either, number one, you are claiming that those nations who do not deem Hamas as a terrorist organization are uncivilized barbarians, according to you. If there's anyone that's uncivilized barbarians, it's you and your Western world who has committed mach massacres, killed millions of people in Hiro Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, uh, um, Vietnam. Your list goes in. You have blood on your hands for the past hundred years, you cowards. And now, if that's the case, now you're calling them uncivilized? What they did was an act of terrorism. And I think that if Israel continues to, uh, con to conduct to, acts of terrorism I'm going to on the Palestinian people, they're going to do nothing I'm but strengthen come, the reaction. I'm going to, well, that's a different conversation I'm about to have with you about Israel's response. But before I get there, one more time, is Hamas a terror group who committed an act of terrorism? You son of a... You scum bastard. When, we, when Hijab asks you if IDF is a terrorist, are they terrorists? Is Israel a terrorist organization, a state? Terrorist state? You refuse to answer, you scum. You've been asked hundreds of times. You're talking about asking Jeremy Corbyn 15 times and asking Andrew Tate over and over again. You coward. Have you condemned Israel? Have you condemned the IDF? No. So shut your mouth, you flipping weasel. I think that when you lock people in an open air prison, you're going to have okay, to expect you're not going to retaliation. You're not no, going to because answer. I have to. There's people who are, firstly, first things I want to say to people. Do you don't mind me saying, I think it's spineless. Sure. I do. That's fine. You sound like Jeremy Corbyn. Well, that. If there's anyone that's spineless, it's you, you flipping coward. You are a flip, you, you boil my blood. The fact that you have the audacity to question people about Hamas when you yourself do not even condemn Israel. You scum. <laughs> you scum. Are they a terror group? You're peddling acidities because I'll tell you why, Pierce. Let me answer the no, question. No, I'm not. Of course you it's are. It's a simple question. That's like me asking. I'll tell you why I asked. Because the UK, where you were born, prescribes Hamas as a terror organization. They also prescribe me as dangerous to children in schools. Let me explain something to you, Pierce. You're not if prescribed sit, as that. If I were to sit here and say, is stealing wrong? And you'd say yes, and i go, ah, but what if the person stealing is trying to feed their family and if they don't, their family are gonna die? Is it still wrong? You're trying to take a so very equating... nuanced and complicated argument no. and reduce it down to no, one not. sentence, no, which not. is failure. You're trying to equate stealing with a mob of terrorists breaking over a border going to peaceful... Is that what Israel did? Wait a minute. A mob of terrorists Wait a breaking minute. over a border Let me finish. And, and killing people. Is that going, what Israel did? Going through a border on October the 7th. Oh, October the 7th. And... Ah, there you go. October the 7th. Oh, there. Me and Andrew Taylor was thinking you're talking about Israel for a second. Oh, no. We're talking about October the 7th. What Israel does, it's okay. It's calm. What Hamas does is bad. And by the way, looking at recent studies, he's talking about all this stuff, yeah? Number one, um, killing of uh, innocent people, yes? It's talking about the killing of babies. False. Decapitated people. False. Rape. False. Not only that, the, the civilians that were killed, which was 1,200, even Haaretz, Haaretz, I think that's what it's called, the Israeli, uh, one of the newspapers, yeah? Even Israel themselves have said that they have a specific protocol that they use in warfare, which they will target their own citizens, and they have accepted that they were the ones that were, that killed all or majority or some part, some of their own civilians for that matter. Yes? So you are perpetrating lies. You are lying. Be just. My point here is justice. Why is it when Hamas done it, it's good? Okay. If they're a terrorist organization, so then it's Israel's terrorist state. No. You scum. You're a hypocrite. That's what you are. We just want consistency from you. Not Hamas or this, that, for that matter. I mean, that's it, guys. There's nothing else to be said. You can see the utter hypocrisy and double standards of the Western media. They do not give a flying damn about the Palestinians. They do not care. What Russia's doing? Bad. Israel? Good. What else can be said? Andrew Tate absolutely annihilated him and destroyed him. Andrew Tate, if you're watching this video, I love you for the sake of Allah. May Allah bless you. You finished him off and you didn't fall for his flipping trap. This flipping scum, double standard, hypocritical liar. The blood of the Palestinian children is also in your hands, you scum, Piers Morgan. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah bless you guys. Take care.